great groundswell here of users just waiting for you to share content with them and start that engagement process. So, this is circles, and this is how we divide our content, uh, uh, sorry, our user base up. So, at the top here, I've got all of my individual people. I can see people I can find. I can do that through search, so I can do it by topic. I can just look for other people who are engaging with other people in networks. People who are in my circles already. Your circles, so, sorry, I should have you in circles and your circles. And then here, these are actually where I'm compartmentalizing people effectively. So I've got my close friends, I've got search engine optimization people, charity people down here, my favorite Doctor Who, and a, a list where it's just keep. So, you know, if I've interacted with people, I think, well, they're such a good interaction, I want to keep them around no matter what I might do with, you know, falling out of favor with particular types of subject matters that interest me. They can go into my keep list. And then when I come to actually share content, I can just choose who I want to share it to. And it's all done quickly and simply. Now, if I want to send something public to the entire world, I can do that. Or I can pick an individual circle and share that content just with those individual people. Or I can do a combination. I can share it with the entire world, but also share it with these individual groups. Now, those people in those individual groups can get an alert saying, hey, John just shared some content with you and have a look at that content, interact with it. Because you're building up these relationships over time, it becomes a very strong kind of interaction really between these circled groups. And it's difficult almost to explain, but when you start building up these circles, when you start making those attachments with people, you'll build those relationships with things that every single time you share something with that circle, those people will come and interact. They might plus one it, which is our equivalent of a like, or they might share it, which is the equivalent of a tweet or a share on Facebook. Um, or Twitter, uh, but ultimately those interactions keep happening and they happen to a greater degree than I've ever seen on Twitter or Facebook. Twitter and Facebook I feel just so passive these days to me. Having spent sort of two years working with Google+, those interactions with Google+, have relevancy. They continuously build out 